Yeah, I'd say I use social media probably every day without probably intentionally using it. Um, fairly active. Facebook, I can't use for personal reasons, especially given like quite a lot of my family. Well, my mum certainly lives abroad, so it's a good way of communicating to her what's going on in my life. If I use Twitter and Tumblr, uh, and obviously I've got Facebook, uh, I know a couple of photography ones as well, Instagram and I am. Um, It's only ever in the evening. In the evening, okay. Yeah, um, I'm, I take photos regularly on my phone and, I, and that's the only place I upload them from as well. I never upload them from my computer. Um, I would say, oh, it depends on which apps, because, you know, um, with YouTube and things like that, I might spend some time during the day. Um, I tend to, tend to try and use it more in my social life, so probably in the evenings and things like that. Mm. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't be looking at my Facebook while some of the lessons. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I only ever post from my phone. Just share it straight from my phone. Even sometimes weekends, I guess as well, but never at any other point. I mean, I, I, I say that, but I do read them at other times, so I'm not that active in actually posting. But I do. I use. Uh, Twitter uh, and Facebook quite a lot in order to read about music and news and art and things like that and I sometimes use that at lunchtime. But yeah more sort of art in the evening in my own spare time that I tend to use these apps. Absolutely yeah because you're right just the fact what I was saying earlier by essentially most of the time that I post on any of them is on my phone and that wouldn't have even been possible you know, say three four years ago so in that sense I guess it is and I suppose that one of the really interesting things about a lot of social media like whatever it is whether it's Twitter or Flickr or Facebook or whatever is it it's actually becoming the news I mean, everybody uses social media nowadays, but you know, um, I think uh, as generations, if it, in generations to come, you'll see that a majority will be using social media if they're not already. You know, like I say that because people like my nan obviously don't use any form of social media, but that kind of generation almost are kind of like the last of it. She's in, kind of into her 80s or whatever, but some eight year olds do use social media, it's crazy. Traditional old school media like news and television is kind of now reporting on things that happen on Twitter and I think that's um, definitely an interesting factor to look at and it's becoming quite a legal issue so you know there's quite a few new laws that are having to come in place because of uh, interactive technology often social media so there's lots of stuff like Twitter now you can be sent to jail for yeah. you know there's a lot of hate stuff which is quite unfortunate, it seems to be what people like to do because they can be anonymous that comes from places like Twitter and things like that so so it's quite interesting the way that it's having to change the law and that it is the news almost uh, or is the place where you first find it. It's more accessible. Um, it, it's definitely more accessible yeah and, and it's just it's much speedier isn't it because Twitter limits you to 140 characters and because Facebook you know no one writes an essay on there because it, it's the nature of blogging is that really isn't it yeah. so I think it does it does speed everything up so things like the um, um, the Arab Spring which is what I don't know four or five years ago probably now that was all like Twitter based wasn't it uh, a lot of uh, that kind of took place and happened so yeah it has actually the more you think about it it's escalated quite massively it's becoming more common practice definitely because you can do so there's so many benefits to it Obviously there's some negatives too, but social media can, is quite a wonderful thing and it's a kind of, a, it can be, you know, a really good evolution for technology. Um, yeah, I think it does. I genuinely think it does. Um, I think it's a really good place to, to you know, it, obviously, you know, a key thing that we do as well as actually posting on there is follow people um, and follow organisations. So there's a hell of a lot to be found out. Yeah, it can be really great. You can learn lots through uh, of, um, of views through Twitter and things like that. So often when students are asked to do questionnaires and things, I say post them onto Facebook, post them onto Twitter. Yeah, you might get some respondents who don't take it seriously, 
but a lot of people will be willing to give your their opinion and in a proper sort of forum I guess and in that way it kind of helps um, to get their work out there as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So it's a way of exhibiting their own work and sharing it. I mean, y you look at so many of the, the media companies now, so the latest films, they have their own website and they have social media icons. They're there for a reason. It's, it's viral marketing. It's getting the message out. And in a world where things are a lot more expensive and unaffordable, that's kind of a nice free way of getting your brand out there. So I do encourage it to a certain extent, but obviously you've got to take um, the bad with the good. Sometimes you're not going to get what you want to see or hear, um, but it's setting students up to have that kind of level of expectation, that's really important. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've got one of my year 13 students who, you know, I go around to his computer sometimes and I will see that he has got uh, several social media things open and I always say to him, you know, can you not be looking at that? Although he tells me he's using it for work purposes and, you know, I, I'm inclined to not believe him. Um, it happens all across the board and that's probably one of the most frustrating things about my job actually is trying to get control on that because obviously yeah. when you've got computers, uh, kids all on computers you can't manage and make sure everybody's doing on task all the time it's just absolutely impossible unless they block these things yeah. um, but going back to what I said earlier there's so many benefits to social media in the classroom that actually you wouldn't want to ban on it so it's about keeping it to a, a minimum and like to try controlling and... it not too much but you kind of have to trust your students. Yeah, it? that's it, that's it. Um, mm -hmm. And I think with a year 13 students, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be as bothered about him doing it as, say, a year 10 trying to go on there, yeah. looking at the Facebook account, because, you know, there's a level of maturity where he probably is doing something a bit more trustworthy than the year, year 10 ones, because they haven't got the, 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 the mature kind of status about them, but yeah. massive isn't it it's, it's such a, a massive interview I mean you know when I was at school you'd get face-to-face -face bullying now it's all you know not all of it's online but quite a lot of it is online you know through these kind of whatsapp forums or BB messenger um, it, it's, it's a massive issue and it really needs to be sorted out but it's a difficult one because if you if you restrict it to age they will always young kids will always find a way you know Social media companies got to take responsibility, but individuals themselves are yeah. individuals for their own rights. And I think young people, you know, over 18s, there's a reason for the fact that it's over 18s, okay? Because by the time you're 18, you are able to make decisions for yourselves, what most 18 year olds are. Under 18s, not really. So there needs to be kind of restrictions on what um, social media are allowing to be posted out there. I think, definitely. Thank you very much for taking part in our social media interview. Um, your question, um, your answers are really interesting, so thank you very much. That's okay, thank you. <coughs> Thanks. Vienna Blinders 1914, Jamie Lee Jones 1914. Louis Sparks. Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. Same as uh, MBVM. Oh yeah. Okay. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Um, I use Instagram, Snapchat, um, SoundCloud. Does that count? SoundCloud. Um, near enough all of them. Twenty-four. <laughs> Literally. Per day, per week, per month. Every day we're, okay. we're on it. Yeah. If oh, our batteries died, if our batteries died, then we're not on it. If our batteries are alive, then we're not on it. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, Over six hours. Okay. Just a way to communicate with your friends, talk to them, look at their pictures. It could be funny, fun, and yeah. Because I can keep in contact with friends that I don't get to see very often. Um, ones that all live all over the country. I can contact family that I don't get to see very often. And uh, it's just a great way for me to share things I've made, like YouTube and SoundCloud. I get to share my bits and pieces and 
Twitter get to have my, my rant of the day. Snapchat, because I don't like it very much. It, especially on, especially on uh, iPhone four, it's absolutely terrible because it just takes absolute like half a century to load a seven second video, and I'm just like I can't bother with it. I don't see the point in it. I'd encourage most of my family to use WhatsApp because, you know, that's just a quick and easy way of getting in contact with people via the phone. Um, probably not Facebook. Twitter's not for everybody. So probably just WhatsApp. Positives are I can contact friends that live all over. Uh, positives are for me I can uh, contact friends from all over the globe. I've got friends from Canada, America. Um, I've got some in. in um, I've just got loads of friends all over the place through certain things that I can just contact very very quickly.